Hi, I'm Tom Gregg. I've been helping you organise the session at the Bog Irish Bar in Christchurch for about eight years now. Um, the session started because Tuesday was a dead night. And now, of course, it's one of the big nights of the week for the Bog. When we started seven years ago, there were five of us, and we outnumbered the punters and the staff. Now it's a full bar, full bar every Tuesday night, and we have between 28 and 40 musicians who turn up on a Tuesday. I kiss my girl. I kiss my girl. The, the idea of the session is that a group of us lead it, and then anyone who wants to sing or play or whatever turns up and uh, they just join us. And I think the, the record we had was 43 we counted once in the band. But normally it's in the mid-20s. We get a whole mix of instruments. We get, um, we've got a trumpeter, for God's sake, a wee story about Neville. He walked past one Tuesday, he saw the sign that said, um, anybody welcome. He came to see me in a break and said, can I bring my instrument next week? And I said, of course you can. And he said, it's a trumpet. And I went, holy shit. He brought it along, he knew one tune, He's now a really, really major part of the night. Um, gets great rounds of applause. Excellent trumpet player. Has learned a lot of the tunes. We get um, baron, of course, mandolin, banjo, fiddles. We have uh, accordions, of course, whistle, um, all the usual kind of instruments that people use, uh, and the and guitar. We use guitar and bass just to give a bit of um, rhythm to the section as, as that turns along there. Anything at all really that people want to bring along. One memorable night a young man came in and played the didgeridoo which was a pretty good sort of a night too. Put the didgeridoo on the middle of the table and away he went. So we've had a great mix of things. I always call it my sanity night during the week and that's where it always fits in for me. Um, and we did see it growing, but I don't think anybody really thought it would end up being the second busiest night of the week for the bar. What we did was we did a live recording for 10 weeks, just exactly as it sounds, and then we simply picked the best of the songs that we wanted, and we put them onto a CD, and it's turned out, I'd have to say, surprisingly well. <laughs>